Hello everyone. To explain how you can easily design a process at eFlow Designer, we will use a purchase request process. This process handles the necessary activity to approve, quote, and order purchase requests made by the employees of the company. All right, let's start. Let's select a new process. The name of the process is purchase request. So in order to start designing a process, I drag and drop the tools from the toolbar here and I double click on the manually starting tool and I'll write the description here, the name of the process that will be listed at eFlow user interface. Let's say purchase request and also I can select from here who will start this process. I choose everyone. It can be anyone from the organization or any uh, department. And just after that, I want a, I want to open a task form uh, for everyone once they want to start this process. This is a task form. I just drag and drop, and you see the uh, you see the ports here. I can just uh, click these two tools. Very easy. And now I'm gonna develop the data elements that. I'm gonna use at this task form. Once I start to select the task form status and the priority, they are default data elements uh, that come with the process. And now uh, what I wanna see at this task form, I'm gonna develop here as data elements just for, fun, uh, just for one time, for example, I right click, I choose new element and I want to list the requester. I choose the element type from here. I want it to be string. I want the date of the request. It will be date type. The request number. It will be numeric and maybe if this purchase request is linked to a project which is so open let's say project name it will be string if i want to upload a document connected to this uh, request i will choose a, i will be able to upload any document I will select and also if I want to make any comments addressed uh, to whom this may concern and I'll just develop a log element it will be for comments all right so which data elements do I want to show at the user interface? I come here, I double click on the task form and I go to data elements. I, I select from here what I want to show at this task form. I want to show the requester, the date of the request, request number, project name, document, and the comments. If I want uh, any of them to be read only I can select like this or if I want any of uh, these columns to be mandatory to fulfill I can just select from here for example the requester let it be mandatory all right so this is a simple process and I choose the terminate tool and I again connect and I give at the bottom a name, let's say send to approve and I can change the color from here. All right, once I save from here, you will see my process with a red flag 
uh, this means it's a test process you can just test it at flow test database or if i activate it i can go live and i can just uh, see it at eflow user interface so i activate it and i go to my user interface i just refresh the page and you see these are the processes that i'm allowed to start and this is the purchase request once i click this purchase request if law will ask me whether i want to start this process or not if i say start you see the form that i created at eflow designer so i can select the date from here the request number any number i can select the project name i can write from here and i can select a file from my database I can write the comments and send it to approve so this is the process uh, that i designed easily but now let's go a little bit deeper uh, at the designer and let's show some more tools to you